My mind hurts. But welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. I don't even know how we're here, but we're now back at the Hawkins Mansion. By the way, I think I missed a crowbar over here. Also remind me, how are you alive, Bradley? Pretty sure I watched you get impaled. Or maybe none of that actually happened. Maybe we just fell down a hole. Thought we were imagining it all. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. Fine, we'll go talk to them. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? I don't even know. Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Bradley. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? I Mr. Pierce, dumb. are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Well, we can't do that because we don't have the cultism. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Bradley. We can't do that one. We can't. Apparently our medicine isn't high enough to say that you should be dead. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Oh, I can't say that you should be dead. Test my psychology. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. I think I failed my... Test, though. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. 
Well, there and then, go. I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. But who took me to and the hospital? And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about well, something I show else. You the tunnel. Follows me that I can't use that one. Follows me that I can't use that one. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was fullest creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Call Two families off. inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Call Powerful families off. dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Well... I Dr. I Fuller find... seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes, I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan, and I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. By using all these hand motions. I found this at the Hawkins house. The doses seem insane. Barbiturates. But these doses... What do you mean? Half the island is under treatment. What is prescribed here, however, is enough to knock out an ox. Fuller wrote this prescription to fool everyone into believing she was mad. Or perhaps her husband wrote it. Perhaps Charles and Dr. Fuller were in league. A conspiracy? Oh, How dreadful. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? They've seen the thing. Well, I'm I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen you him since Dr. Down? Fuller had him transferred there to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? Um, I'm not sure I can explain. Yeah. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? I'm this makes no insane. sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis her? Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. He mentioned the It's shampoo. no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably I'm how they met. The if you plan on having dinner at the Sanders well, household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. Oh, yeah. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Your husband got... His neck snapped by... by the enough thing. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. Well, but it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. 
Better I'll go to see Francis's widow. Ignorance. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. How is he even alive? <laughs> Was that just a show? That he empower him, but yet not empower him. And then erase the whole thing to make it seem like I'm going insane. Is there any more books we haven't read here? The other night's events are still confused in my head. And they're not confused in my head. I guess we're gonna leave. Can't just take him to look at the tunnel and be like, hey, you remember this? This here was a tunnel. Apparently not. Apparently we don't give a damn about the tunnel anymore. Pierce, Coden, and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the Shambler, that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. So. Not sure exactly what a Shambler is. Like, I'm trying to recall... I kind of may have been, like it may be sort of like, like what Charles is now, or it may be like a star spawn. Now I'm thinking Darkest Dungeon, I'm having flashbacks to that thing murdering me. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. I know. That is precisely what brings me Oh, here. I can't. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed, briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? It's connected. Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Okay. This right. way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Apparently I do. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been You're allowed right. to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? <laughs> Jeez. Do I really want to go try my psychology? Ro 
What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. H how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Well... Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting oh, that endowed him with the privilege of such well, a shameful and miserable anything. end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Apparently we exhausted the dialogue. And we gained two counterpoints. We have five available. Could increase our strength. I really should increase my arrogance and psychology, but we could increase our strength. But now, expert strong. Definitely need to get no more perk now. What happens if I do this? How? Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was How? he seeking to acquire it? Did I... That's not a question. I think, don't... Didn't we find that dagger? Okay, sure, we found that dagger. Artemisitism, foreign objects, the letter written by Van Francis Sanders. And he can learn and characterize his objects from all ages, origins that are linked to occult mystical practices. It's opened at the page of a dagger that bears a symbol that is not unknown to me. Now we remember that. I think we found that dagger before. Oh, so now we have more occultism. Yeah, we don't even have that one dagger. Eh. I have to go any, don't I? No, I have to go uh, sub menus, don't I? Uh. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to look around at everything. Ooh, medicine. Dr. Farm in the series covers everything from gas, gangrene to trench, nephritis, dishes to precise, and the 
Coach Say the book presents some avant garde theories. The very good components of this book reserved it for medical experts. Do, 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 do. So, medicine and occultism are up. Though not at any level to actually help me, apparently, though. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Um, yeah. Wait, do I? Apparently we're doing this. A house of artists. A house of artists. Frances Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, no. even? Probably as many paintings as she sold to him over the year. But is that the only thing we can look? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Don't want to sell the painting, but eventually he got the painting. A house of artists. So anything else that connects such. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? I can't really see the painting. I can't make sense of it from hell. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. How good is our cultism? Ah! Um. The Shambler. I need to see it. Yeah, don't mind me. I was just having a moment there. It's like, is this a hiding wardrobe? Apparently we need to see it. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Yeah, don't mind. I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Yeah, don't mind. Nobody me. should enter. Except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. anymore. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. Yep. I'm not helping you at all, am I? Oh, that's all right. Not yet. Let's not use it again. Stop tormenting her, oh, jeez. Well, that door's locked. I must find the gallery. Oh, hi, cat. I could use one of those. Hey, we got sleeping pills again. A strange Amerindian pendant. Cultism? Do, 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 do. We need one more. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. This volume spent some time on Reverend Wickward's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since they arrived on the island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a message sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. 
Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope to ever in this accursed pain. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the, the way of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my friend, forget the Shambler. So basically, she painted pain, and she didn't want anyone to see that pain. Before I talk to you, let me just punch open this thing. Well, now I have the key to the Sanders Gallery. So what would happen if I didn't have it? Would you read the book? Well, what came this for? You've read the book. Oh, God. The Malarious Beastarium. This dwarf had your destiny. It's kind of inside a of monsters and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Them tentacles. They are sign. Okay. But hey, we got up to professional cultism. That'll help. Unless we're at the, basically the part of the game where they want me to have, like, expert cultism. For bros, in which case, we are screwed. How's my sanity look? My sanity is going. <laughs> Like, it's dropped a bit. So what's in here? The... Desideration on an anonymous... An anonymous... An crusher. An The work of Steven and Burke Lawrence, though the observations are out when they left the expertise of a professor, experienced physician. That was the question. As it allows us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. More medicine. Two more and we should be... No, technically it would be more than two more because, you know, we go up by 2% each time, so yeah. Hmm. Okay, now. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. I found this drawing of a dagger. Did you come across anything like it in your reading? Perhaps. I saw several daggers in the ledgers. I could always check. What I didn't find, however, was the slightest reason why I should help you, Detective. I don't need your services. I can manage all on my own, thanks. <laughs> Do it then. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Oh yeah, well. Okay. So this leads to the gallery. And the game saves. Also, I'm curious though. I guess a bunch of locked doors that lead nowhere. But I am curious. So this is the door we came in at. So basically this here is all just a lot of, you know, you, you don't need to go this way, basically. Gotcha. Whole bunch of you don't need to go that way. So now then, the gallery. So I'm on your dagger, but different than the one we're looking for. 
These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Now for sale, Mario Danny, for sale, not the one we're looking for. Oh, it looks like a tentacle. Oh, it's gonna be concerned if it started moving a bit. Oh god, that face. Dagger we're looking for. Still not the dagger we're looking for. Not those. That is not a good sign. I'm just saying that is not a good sign. I see you over there. I'll work. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Looks like a, I guess, a polar bear murdering a seal. We know where we, they want me to go towards. Uh-huh. These are probably references to the other H.P. Lovecraft things, but... Okay, then. I think we're still looking at that dagger. That one's more tentacle. That's scarab. Are we getting narcolic tap in hell? Why was he so interested in old weapons? Because they look like tentacle daggers. He's looking for the dagger. The cult dagger. Not these hell are exactly the cult dagger though. I'm gonna say that sort of looks like Webster, but not quite. Well, we can refill our lantern now, and hmm. now a hiding spot. That is not a good sign. I'm concerned. She has horns, she has wings. Doesn't certainly have hooves, though. Or, uh, can't tell if she has a tail. Oh, I know you want me to go over there. More oil. Two oil things. Several hiding spots. Well, first of all, this. Hey, that's that dagger, though. Far from possessing the town of Sarah Hawking, Santa's drew a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. The guard carries a strange esoteric symbol. Recurring feature that's corresponding to itself. So this dagger you is a clue. This is going in badly. We've looked at it. But now curve. Don't do this was a bad idea.
has no eyes. But... What the hell? Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. How? It's an Eldritch horror. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally gone. Why have we stabbed the pain? Why have we why have we stabbed the pain?
Maybe that. This dagger looks different. I'm just trying. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. How do you think so, too? You knew. You knew about the beast. I... What are you talking about? <laughs> well, think yourself it. lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. You're just gonna From what I saw in the, the ledgers, dagger. it was him who sold it to Sanders. You're just gonna like me. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. Well, it's like, didn't we... Can't we slash that painting?
Alan the Chamber turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sal Hawkins. As a huge creature came out of the paint to attack Pierce, after a hard fight that you have to manage to send it back into the painting, they have discovered that the dagger he used to prepare the creature had been sold to sentence by a man named Algaron Drake, owner of the Nameless Burke Star. Pierce decides to pay the library visit. Oh, is this going to be one of those Burke stores that actually that exist between realms? That's not a good sign. Game saved. Where is the bookseller? And we'll be leaving off here. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day.